This is the thoughtful type. As I'm recording this, it's Wednesday night, the 30th of June, 2021. My name is the polarizing individual, Mishak R. Brencho. I was ecstatic yesterday. I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one. Hundreds of thousands, even millions out there, watching England defeat Germany at Wembley. Very fitting. 2 0 in the last 16 of Euro 2020. Fingers crossed for Saturday. Who knows where it's going to lead in the next couple of weeks? Hopefully, something special is going to happen. But speaking of England, three lions on that shirt. For the longest time, as I can remember, I've always been curious about that badge. What does it reference? Well, this episode focuses on the symbolism of the three lions. It's been a symbol of England since the 11th century during the rule of the Normans. In 1066, the Normans invaded England, originally from Norman, Normandy, France. The Normans were Vikings and introduced the earliest version of the English coat of arms featuring one golden lion. And this was on a red background representing a red battlefield. And over a hundred years later, well, in the year 1189, King Richard I, known as Richard the Lionheart from Beaumont Palace, Oxford, he ruled the English English throne at the time. He added two more lions to the background crest. So there was three lions, three golden lions on a red background crest. And nearly 700 years later, in 1872, the year the first ever competitive international football match took place, an emblem as in, a, as in a symbolic object, as a badge, to represent a nation, it was needed. So the English Football Association desi decided to use three lions to represent Englishness. And interestingly, the FA needs permission from the royal family. And this has always been the case like to my knowledge, like throughout centuries, whenever it's used, you know, as a trademark in any way, it's used as a property, you know, commodity in any way, they need permission because it's a royal emblem. So the Free Lines logo is not entirely owned by the FA. Also, you'll notice on the Free Lines badge, there's 10 red roses. It's it's a mystery, as in why the number why it's it's ten roses and not any other number. But the roses represent the peace treaty between Lancaster and York, as in the War of the Roses when Lancashire and York had a civil war which lasted thirty two years between the year fourteen fifty five and fourteen eighty seven. But when the peace treaty was introduced. Ten red roses were were added to the free lions emblem. And there you have it. The free lions on that shirt has this very, very intriguing history. Who knows that uh, my fingers are crossed. Yeah, we're hoping for something special this year. We'll see what happens, but we do have the team. We do have the quality in the squad to do it. Let's see. Come on, boys. But yeah, hopefully something special will happen. But that's, that's it for this episode. Like I said, it's over and done with so quick. But I just thought, I thought I'd share the interesting significance behind the badge of the Free Lions. If you have listened to this episode, 
thank you very much for your time.